Well, that was a bold title and thumbnail right from the beginning, but it's not even clickbait. In this video, I will show you how much YouTube is making me and why I consider it to be one of the highest paid YouTube channels as compared to other channels. I have seen just so many people sharing their revenue numbers and it's always so interesting because it varies so much and there are always just so many factors that contribute to how much money a YouTuber can make. So if you're planning on starting YouTube channel, then this video Video might help you understand how YouTube works and how you can actually get paid. And even if you don't think on starting a YouTube channel, then there are just so many people that love to watch these videos out of curiosity. So without wasting any time, let's jump straight into it. Well, my journey with YouTube started back in 2015 when I was watching videos from huge channels like The Q and other DIY channels. Using an old phone to record my videos with a crappy quality was the right formula for my failure. Around the time that Fortnite was released, I started uploading Fortnite videos just like everyone else was doing. I was always thinking that my videos were great, but actually nobody was watching my videos and it was around this time that I was getting some data from the analytics of the videos that I was uploading that I became interested on sharing YouTube growth tips and some educational videos. I have worked with many faceless channels in the past and some of those have been very successful. I started uploading financial videos videos and I was making 10 to 20 times more for the same amount of views. I knew that I needed to create a channel that was entirely focused on creating business and financial videos. So back in February, I created this channel and as you can see, it's all about financial education. Now we're going to deep dive on how I managed to monetize this very channel in as fast as 40 days and how much money I'm making from it. This channel was basically monetized on the 5th of April, only a couple of weeks after it was first created and on my first day I made 0.03 dollars and since there were not many videos live on the channel I wasn't actually making any revenue on the days I was not posting. If you take a look in here you can see that the CPM for this channel on its first month was around 5 dollars and the majority of the money came from skippable ads and display ads. In April I made a total of 1.5 dollars but the upcoming months were way more interesting. In the in the month of May I posted more regularly even though you cannot see the videos shown in here because I put the videos in private but I was basically making 10 to 20 cents per day. The interesting thing however is that the CPM increased sitting at around $9 and the revenue was coming mainly from skippable ads. Some of my videos started to get some traction and by the end of the month I was getting closer to the $1 benchmark. If you take a look on the videos that I have uploaded in the month of May you can notice that all all of these videos are in the finance niche but the reason they are not making a lot of money is because they are not getting a lot of views. However, if we take a look on the highest paid video in the month of May, you can see that it made $1.77 while having only 370 views which is great. Now things start to get a little bit more interesting in the month of June. In the month of June I made around $25 from YouTube AdSense and if you look at the bottom in here, these black squares are actually videos that I have uploaded in the channel. And if you see in here you're going to notice a pattern where I would say that most of the videos get views on the second and the third day and after that they basically go flat. The video that made me most of the money in the month of June is this video where I explain how I discovered the biggest side hustle that is actually working for me in 2023. In pretty much all of my videos, I have noticed quite an interesting trend, which is the YouTube algorithm promotes the videos for the first three days and after that it kind of starts stopping pushing the videos out to the viewers and in case you might be wondering if that is because of a low click-through rate or low average view duration, the answer is no. If you take a look on this video for example, you're going to see that this video got 2000 impression, then 5000 impression and 6000 impression and the click-through rate was sitting at around 8% which is considered good. The average view duration was quite good for an 8 minute video and even though on the 4th day the click through rate was sitting at a little bit higher than 10% the impressions drastically fell. For the people thinking that these are just some normal statistics let me tell you why I titled the video like this and why this kind of revenue is not normal for the amount of views I'm getting. A little bit earlier I mentioned the CPM and what it actually stands 
stands for is cost per mile or how much money advertisers are willing to pay for every thousand views. So if my channel would be making a thousand monetized views in the month of June, this $11 would be split on a ratio of 45% for YouTube and 55% for myself. Now, if you actually take a look on my channel, in the month of June I had around 5000 views, but not every view on YouTube is monetizable and as you can see from 5000 views, 3800 were monetizable views. So in simple words, not every viewer sees an ad in front of the video or during the video, even though all of my videos are 8 minutes or longer, which allows me to place mid-roll ads. For the ones that don't want to bother on how much money YouTube is making and only want to know their cut, you can simply take a look at the RPM, which is how much money you are taking home per thousand views. And if we multiply these two numbers in here, this is the number that we're going to actually get. If you own a family-friendly channel on different niches, the CPM might vary from $2 to $10, with more chances of it being towards the low end. In my channel, however, since the videos are in the business and finance niche, the CPM can go as high as 20 or 23 or even higher in some particular days. And that is the main reason why I'm referring to this channel as the highest paid channel that I've got comparing to the DIY or the gaming channels that I've had in the past. The idea is that the viewers that are watching this kind of videos are prone to investing into particular websites and advertisers are willing to offer a higher bid so their ad could be shown in front of these particular viewers. The whole auction thing happens in the fraction of second and is the Google algorithm that decides what ad will be shown to a particular viewer and there is actually no way for the creator to choose what ads will be shown in front of his videos. On the month of July something very interesting happened that I wasn't expecting to happen to someone like myself that doesn't have thousands of subscribers, however Anthony here had other plans when he gifted me two pounds which was the very first time I was receiving gifts online so thank you for that Anthony. The month of July isn't over yet however we are not expecting any huge changes and we will probably close the month at around six dollars. The CPM for this month dropped since I actually made a mistake while uploading the videos. For the people that have been doing YouTube for some time you know that in the moment that you upload the video you can turn on the monetization and you're presented with two options which is you can either place ads automatically or place them manually in different parts of the videos. Now my mistake was that I selected the place automatically option thinking that the YouTube algorithm would set something like 3 or 4 ad breaks but when I checked back my videos it has only placed one either somewhere here or at the very end which even though the people were watching my videos no ads were shown in front of them and that resulted in a lower than normal CPM. Anyway that is fixed now and I really hope to see some better results in the upcoming days. The total that I made so far on this channel is $37 in terms of revenue and considering the cost of running this channel that is far from being profitable. For those of you that made it till the end of the video, this is a list of my best performing videos and if you'd like to see the video that made me most of the money on this channel, I will make sure that it pops somewhere on the screen.